Linear Geos is a free, community-built, aftermarket firmware distribution of Android 7, Nougat, which is designed to increase performance and reliability over stock Android for your device. Linear Geos is based on the Android open source project with extra contributions from many people within the Android community. It can be used without any need to have any Google application installed. Link below is a package that has come from another Android project that restore the Google parts. Linear Geos does still include various hardware-specific code, which is also slowly being open-sourced anyway. Resurrection Remix ROM is ultimately full-featured, stable and combined with the best features of open-source ROMs. We are also providing lot of awesome original Resurrection Remix ROM add-on S in the builds, includes best of performance, customization, power and the newest features on your device. It is one of the most customizable ROMs out of the box. Viperos is stable and battery-friendly custom ROM. Melee features, high performance and reability. Feel the venom in your vein. Viper Color Engine is a amazing, simple and robust theme engine. White, dark, orange, blue, choose yourself your theme color. Substratum is fully supported. Venom is a powerful and integrated Viper System UE engine that brings many customizations, from lock screen to power menu. Dotos is an Android ROM which focuses on performance and stability. Our aim is to enable a user to extract as much juice as possible and get most out of his, her device and to keep up with time itself. Initially started by Mohan CM and later joined by Ganesh Varma, Sam Grande, Kuba Sharma, IACOB Ayanut and Hari Ambadi. Features fast minimal, battery friendly, beautiful UI. Moki Open Source is based on the Google AOSP. We update our source code frequently to keep up with the latest development, and not forgetting to merge in special features of our own at the same time. A small group of people from around the world who are interested in Android launched this project on the 12th of December 2012, and is committed to make this ROM better and better. Like most contributors of open source projects, Omni, CyanogenMod, Slim AOSPA etc., we are doing all these in our free time as our passion. Since this project is open source, anyone interested can participate in the development, maintain new devices, contribute code etc. Newcomers are always welcomed. Colto's project is a team of learners and it's based on linear geos with all necessary customizations. Mr. Rakesh Batra, a well-known developer from New Forum, has started this project with Mr. Nitin Kobe and Mr. Nikhil Verma. We have cherry-picked the features from many other ROMs projects and we are very thankful to them. But while cherry-picking, we are very concerned about device stability and performance. We test several builds ourselves device maintainers before releasing it to the public. While releasing it to public, we just want the happy user experience for all end users they're using it as daily driver. Features, status bar customizations, lock screen customizations, QS tiles customizations, system wide animations options, navbar options, and many more. XOSP is an aftermarket firmware based on Code Aurora Source's CAF destinated for a wide range of Android phones. The name stands for the Xperia Open Source Project and the project was initially created by Atnilak for the Galaxy S Plus, his old device, years ago when back then the ROM was called S Plus Reborn. The vision was to create a minimal bloat-free ROM which included Sony Xperia-specific apps and various tweaks users would expect from a custom ROM, S Plus Reborn became a success and was eventually ported to different devices so from there it was rebranded to XOSP. Kalen worked on the project for two years always trying to improve it. Eventually, because of the fact Lollipop was buggy on his Galaxy S Plus, he decided to take a break from development.
AICP is known by everyone as the Ice Cold Project that started on a Desire HD years ago, 2012, and since then has evolved into a mature ROM with the best community that you can find. Until Lollipop, the ROM has always been based on AOKP. Unfortunately, since AOKP stopped development, but made a comeback later, we changed our base to CM. With the rebrand of CM to Linear Geos, Laos we are now Laos based with some tweaks from AOSP. If there are any bugs, either we will sort them out of the Laos team or if it concerns the code base. This ROM isn't Laos supported, so no need to report errors bugs to them. Project Atomic is an umbrella for many projects related to redesigning the operating system around principles of immutable infrastructure, using the LDK, Linux, Docker, Kubernetes, stack. Many of the components of Project Atomic are upstream components of OpenShift Origin v3. The primary building block of Project Atomic is the Atomic Host, a lightweight container OS which implements these ideas. Atomic hosts are immutable, since each is imaged from an upstream repository, supporting mass deployment. Applications run in containers. Atomic host versions based on CentOS and Fedora are available, and there is also a downstream enterprise version in Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Team Octos is an Android open source project utilizing Android 7.1.2 AOSP code base. Team Octos was formed on a few core beliefs. The ROM had to be something would run, reliable, and customization by the user to the level of the desire. Team Octos presents ROMs that meet three critical conditions. It's a ROM we want to run. Stable and reliable. AOSP feel and user customization together in harmony. Raiden is a mobile device operating system built on Linear Geos and the Android Open Source Project. Raiden aims to improve the ability of Indonesian human resources to have the competence to compete in the realm of mobile device technology. Raiden is currently in a development phase so much needs contributions from other friends, especially for bug testing and reporting. AOSIP stands for Android Open Source Illusion Project. We are an AOSP-based custom ROM, twisted with the latest features from all over the Android development community. Quality and stability is our first priority as we are dedicated to bringing you the best Android has to offer. AOSIP brings you the most wanted features, while keeping speed and stability our top priority. AOSIP features multiple customization options, so your phone can look the way you want I. This is Candy7, built straight from source with commits from a variety of different sources, ROMs. We wanted to give the users a fun, fully customizable ROM. We aim to add more features as this project progresses. Multi-window, on the switch, immersive mode, clear all button, memory bar, slim recent option, advanced power menu, on the go mode, screen record, adjustable dialog background shade, sound panel, expanded desktop, Darkness Redefined. Redefining the darkness in you. Darkness Redefined offers features and stability to the core, the main focus of the team was to make a ROM with features that are required not just bloats being tons of features to keep you thinking what to use and what not to. Apart from features we have kept in mind the stability of the system, after intense testing and positive user reviews we finally decided to release the build.
This project started as a joke on a Polish Redmi Note 4 users group, not available anymore. Someone managed to post a fake screenshot of Pornhubos running on a Redmi Note 4 2 at RN4 official. It was met with great enthusiasm, and even greater expectations. So, while it was going viral, we thought, why not make it a reality? And thus Porneos was born. Porneos team created a Telegram group to share a project to the world, which grew to 250 members within a few hours. It also managed to run through a few of spam attacks, but that's a story for another day. After some time they considered the issue of the Pornhub trademark. They managed to release one build with Pornhubo's name, but later ones will be branded Porneos. They strongly believe the name is much more neutral. They don't wish to risk a copyright abuse. However, the final name could change.